Morning, welcome back to Ask Phil. It's a crisp February morning. It's about minus something out there, I think. So we're nicely in here in the shop. Um, was walking up the garden path yesterday, looking in the pond, and there were about 20 frogs in there doing what frogs do in the spring, uh, which made me think, hmm, what about the cockerels that we've got? What damage are they gonna do to the girls over the next few weeks as they decide it's spring? So we're gonna talk about poultry saddles today, um, what they're used for, and more importantly, how to put them on. You can watch me make a complete hash up of it. Uh, I'll get a little model in in a minute and we'll, we'll have a go. Uh, but poultry saddles basically come in two types that we sell. They, are, they come in standard saddles, um, which are like this, and butterfly saddles, which are like that. Butterfly saddles, because they look like a butterfly, uh, but they offer more protection to the effectively the shoulders of the birds and uh, as the cockerels um, are on the back of the birds they tend to rake them with their claws and you do get quite a bit of uh, physical damage sometimes um, cockerels haven't read the uh, the the correct way of uh, making moves on girls uh, there's no flowers there's no dinner they're more of the sort of caveman grab them by the back of the neck and come with me young lady uh, so we've got to do our best to protect them. Well, here we are. We've got Paula Shortlegs in, uh, she's a Pekin, a nice small bird, easy to handle here in the shop. Some of my other birds tend to put up a bit too much of a fight for this, uh, for filming. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two saddles on her. Uh, we're gonna put it on a basic saddle like this, and we're gonna put on a butterfly saddle like that. The soft feather chickens, things like Pekins, Brahmas, Orpingtons, Cochins, tend to get much, much more damage on, on their backs uh, because as it suggests, their feathers are very soft and they just snap off and you get raw skin, so it's not nice. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna sit down uh, and then we're going to, uh, so carefully and gently, put a saddle on Paula. Right, so here's Paula and we're gonna put a a plain basic saddle on. First thing you want to do, get the bird comfortable on your lap and get one wing and stretch it out like that. Hold it in your hand. That makes all the feathers nice and narrow and pointed. And then get the, uh, get the loop, pull it thoroughly through to one side like that. This is the outside, the piece with the rope on it. Um, that gives the cockerel more, more purchase when he's, uh, when he's um, serving the bird and you just get that wing and you carefully and gently take your time gently put that on the bird like that and get it right up into what we would call the armpit yeah i know paula once it's up into the armpit pull the loop through the wing down turn her around a little bit Pull the wing, pull the loop through like that. So you've got a larger loop on that side. Then get the other wing. And once again, bunch the feathers up just so they're in a nice controllable block like this. Put the wing through. This is normally the point at which they start flapping and makes everything look messy, but, uh, but should be fine. It does take a little bit of fiddling around just to get these tapes right up, right up like you'd have a rucksack. So over your shoulder and in the armpit. And then if I turn her around, you'll see. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. You're helping me a lot there. Right. You'll see where, where she's flapped her wings. It's actually settled that down. So the feathers lie back on top of the saddle. And when she's walked around for a while, you'll hardly see the saddle at all. But if a cockerel gets on her, then that will protect, protect her soft back there and give him something to, to hang on to. So I'll take this off Paula now and we'll have a go at putting a butterfly saddle on. This is a butterfly saddle and Paula is going to model this for us. This one's slightly big for her actually, but just for the sake of uh, making it easier to film, uh, we're going to use this. So once again, you'll see that this has tapes on the back like this and you pull them through to one side to put the first wing through. Now it's got these little flaps on the top that look like a butterfly's wings. Now they've got Velcro tapes underneath them. So leave, them where, leave the Velcro tapes where they are for the moment and I'll show you what to do with them once we've got the basic saddle on. So 
Here we go again, Paula. We're going to pull the tape through like that. Again, gently take hold of her wing. Pull it through like that. And then pull the tape through the other side. Yeah, I know, I know. Be patient with me. Yep. I know. Yep. Up, 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 up. There we go. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. Right. There we go. Right. Yep. Right. And then we get the other wing, which is here somewhere. I know it is. <laughs> she had two just now. There we go. There's the other wing. And then we pull the tape through the other side. Make that, that loop bigger. And we carefully and gently might just have to stop for a few seconds. Calm her down because this is, this is stressful for her. Um, but once it's on, it'll be a tremendous help. So it's a bit like, uh, like the spoonful of medicine that doesn't taste very nice. But, uh, once it's done, it, it's a big help. But uh, they don't really like it because they're not used to it. So there we go. That's got, that's got those tapes in under her armpits again. Like so. Now then, now that's on, we can undo these Velcros underneath which she probably won't like the noise of, but there we go. Right, and they go over the wing and back out underneath and just do that. That holds that butterfly wing over her shoulders, which is where you're gonna get a lot of that, that damage from a, a cockerel's um, claws. So uh, I'll do the same on this side. Sorry. There we go, under the wing, back out underneath, and onto your saddle. Now then, if I can pick her up and let her just have a little bit of a flap, that'll, there we go. Right, so this saddle is slightly too big for her. This, it would sit better with a smaller one. I'd run out today. But yeah, so if you see her there, you've got these wings, um, butterfly wings are over her shoulder blades effectively. So that's, they're protecting that. And the rest of the saddle is over her back for when the cockerel uh, rakes there. And the rope running around there gives him something to take hold of. Now you may think that she doesn't look very comfortable. She probably isn't at the moment, but if you put her back in the run and just give her 10 minutes running around, you'll find that they ignore it just completely. Once they've sorted the feathers out, given themselves a good shakedown, 10 minutes or so, they just ignore it completely and the, the, uh, the birds that are likely to get damaged, I tend to put a saddle on and it stays there all year. Uh, what you can do is once every few weeks, just get some diatomaceous earth put underneath the saddle because of course it's nice and warm there. So it's an ideal place for any lice or mites to, uh, to stay. Put some diatomaceous earth underneath and that'll help make sure that nothing stays there. So uh, thank you, Paula. You've been a great help. Um, that is how to put on a chicken saddle. If you've got any questions for Ask Phil, please email in to info at flightsofancy.co.uk. That's flight with a Y. Uh, or you can go on to our Facebook channel, Flight So Fancy Facebook channel, or our YouTube video channel where all the uh, Ask Phil questions are and loads more videos from Flight So Fancy. Um, if you're interested in, in any products that have been featured on our videos, um, please have a look on our website, which is uh, www.flightsofancy, again with a Y, .co.uk. Um, and there's lots and lots of information, lots of products, and loads and loads and loads of chicken knowledge that's been garnered over the years. Um, also, just in case you're not on the internet, I'm not quite sure how you're watching this, but we also do a printed catalogue as well, which is we're just printing this year's now. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye-bye.